Hey, what's up everyone? As you can see behind me, we got a great unboxing today, so cue the music and let's dive on in. All right, everyone, so uh, we got a new box in the mail today. Full disclaimer, there is no disclaimer. If you think a piece of equipment will give you an advantage and help you be more efficient, buy it. Do your research and buy it. So uh, that's what we did. Got my Cold Steel AD10. One of these days they're gonna give me a sponsorship since I only buy their knives. Ventura Company, I'm a Ventura native, so uh, hook me up, guys. There's the unit, power supply, very nice box, very well packed. So we got the KX5600 from Breeder Circle. This is an ultrasound unit. Comes highly recommended by a lot of people. And Ricardo has uh, offered to give me any pointers, videos, phone calls I needed in order to get me going on this. So uh, thanks Ricardo. So this is going to be the probe. This is my little foot pedal I got so I can freeze the frame. So that's everything in the box. We'll cut, we'll cut this. I'll figure out how it works and uh, we'll add that on after this. So, All right guys, so uh, we had a night to mess around with the ultrasound, kind of get it figured out a little bit. So. Me and Connor here are gonna turn down the lights, whip out a snake, and start filming us doing some ultrasounding. Go ahead and join us and we'll walk you through our, our little, uh, whatever the hell it is. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna show you how we uh, boot it up. We have it fully charged. We got the unit with the batteries, so I don't have to plug it in if I don't want to. Turn it on, let it do its thing. We also got the foot pedal, which freezes the frame when I step on the pedal, so I can make my measurements. That plugs in right here on the back. It's clearly labeled, so I don't really have to show you. And then I'm doing everything on my Coco Block shaker cart. I just put this on the bottom shelf so I can wheel around with it. Everything's portable. I got the big bottle of ultrasound gel, Aquasonic, just got this off Amazon, nothing special. Here is our ultrasound lens, it's the 7.5, uh, you plug this in the back of the unit, let's do this. I'll show you something real quick here. You plug this in the bottom socket on the back of the unit. So not the top one, the bottom one. There's a little human figure on the back of this and there's a little human figure right there. They match up, plug it in the bottom. That's the correct one for this lens. And this bad boy is all booted up and ready to go. So, uh, me and Connor are going to turn off the lights, get a snake out here, and we'll do some ultrasounding. Okay, I've adjusted the camera a little bit. I'm going to put some more ultrasound gel on the lens. 
I'm gonna get bent right now too. We'll take this off the freeze. Okay. She's getting a little mad. See right here, here's the follicles. <coughs> so part of the ultrasounding is keeping the snake calm. see the follicle right there. Here's the spine, here's the ribs, freeze that frame. Then you can measure, you hit set, go down here where you see the bottom, right there, set, that is 21.6 millimeters follicles on this girl. So let's get her wiped up and I'll get out another snake. Okay, so we got out our het pied girl now. So the way I've been doing it is the lens is up here in its holder. I squirt on some ultrasound gel. On the lens, take it off freeze real quick. Okay, I have not. I have yet to ultrasound this girl. Okay. There, you're starting to see some there. See those up there towards the top? That's all the, so we will freeze that. Connor, you can help me by writing some numbers down on that yellow piece of paper. There should be a pin over there on the desk, buddy. So we got 12.6 on Hope. Okay. So as you can see, she's got 12.6. So she's starting to build. This is my first year with her. So I was told that she laid for the last breeder in August. Do, do I write it on this one or? No, I'll write it on a fresh one. Put hope and put 12.6. And. Or you can even go over. So as you can see, we freeze the frame. As you can see, we freeze the frame. We don't even have the snake up here anymore. I put a peg there. Go, you try to stay straight across through the center. And you hit set again. And it tells you right here, 12.7. So her, her follicles are, you know, 12 and a half range. 12 and a half millimeters. So it's very easy to use, very basic. This is the Caxon. 5600 V model. So, okay, and just for some reference, this girl right here ovulated yesterday or the day before. Her 
her swelling has definitely gone down. So I believe she is over all the way through the ovulation at this point. Once you'll see when I add the gel to the lens. There it is. She threw me off because these big ones are hard to find. See, there it is. I still need to learn the settings on this. see the eggs in there. Kind of tricky getting the angle on it sometimes. Right there. You can see the egg and the egg touching each other right there. And that's an egg all the way over to there. Alright, Connor, you want to be the foot pedal guy? Okay. So. Can I get back on it. Hold on, bud. I'll tell you when. We just had a good... No, get off of it, bud. Click it again. There's... A, here's an egg. There's another egg right there. Okay, freeze it. Okay, so we measure from the top on this one. All the way down. 42.2. That's a girl that's already ovulated and she's gravid obviously so yeah that's my initial walkthrough thanks for your help Connor you're welcome Connor and his blue hair since we're out of school over here all right so that was a quick rundown of the Caxon 5600 V that I got from Breeder Circle excellent product as you can see I still need more practice and maybe play with the settings a little bit on it, but you can clearly see, you know, the follicles when they're small, the eggs when they're big, you know, we're measuring those eggs right around the 40 millimeter range, right where they're supposed to be. I know that female ovulated, so that was a good test subject for that. And then uh, some of these other females, one of them I thought was further along with the follicles and she only has 15, so, you know, who knows what's gonna go on with that. And, uh, Thanks to my little man Connor for helping me out and everyone else. Till next time, rock on. Say bye, Connor. Bye. Till next time, rock on. <laughs> we good? Yeah. Is that what that little nod means? Yes. Are you like Austin and behind Billy? Like... Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys next time.